Hey guys, Jeremy here at Kentucky Wash Pros, and I'm going to show you today how to add a 12 volt fuel pump to a Predator 670. Super simple, super easy. This is a fuel pump we're going to be using. It's about 15 bucks on eBay. This is the brand. Uh, it's real low pressure, like 2 to 4 psi. And this has an auto shut off once it recognizes the bow is full. So, first thing you got to do is get you a test light, just like this, and ground it. And uh, what I like to do, uh, just from knowing my research, is you know, red is usually hot, right? Generally speaking, on automobiles, and then yellow is usually like an accessory or a auxiliary uh, wire. So what we did is to make things really easy is I got this and I turned the key on and I punctured the yellow wire just ever so slightly and the light lit up so I knew that the yellow wire was hot I turned the key off checked again and no light so that let me know so here's what I'm going to show you is I've already got it tied in and I just spliced it in just like this this will get taped up so I'm checking the end of this wire and you can see there's no light right there at my thumb Turn the key on, we have light. So that lets me know if I can get this hooked up and when I turn the key on, it's gonna turn the fuel pump on. And all we gotta do is just mount this, put this on the ground, uh, probably to the frame, uh, maybe to the skit. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna mount it at, but I'll show you what I got when we get there. All right guys, we just got everything set up. I'm gonna show you what we did here. We mounted this right here on the back the way it uh, advises you to. We ground it into the frame right there below, so that was simple. We tucked our hose, I don't know if you can see, and ran it, tied it into here. Um, so everything's real tight. The fuel line is right here. We switched this over to 5 16 fuel line to get better fuel line. That's 5 16 but the pred these predators come with the 5 16 and I don't know if that was a problem where I had it necked down to a quarter inch with this bulb. Um, it would work, but it would run out of fuel. So I'm hoping going with the 5 16 fuel line is going to be better for it. So when I turn this on, just listen to see if you can hear this fuel pump. That's it pushing fuel. And I turned it off. So... We know we're getting fuel. We can see we have fuel in our filter. Uh, once I change this filter out, I'll run a little bit longer line over and let this filter hang kind of like these. Uh, it's no big deal. We're gonna run it and see. Guys, these are headaches. Absolute freaking headaches. There's so many things you need to do when you get them. Change the fuel pump. This one's been changed. Still didn't work. Um, so, I mean, you probably could change the carburetor. There's a lot of issues that go on with these carburetors. Um, but when it runs, it runs so good. It just doesn't run long. It runs out of fuel. It starves. Upgrading to 5 16 adding the fuel pump. We're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. If not, we'll buy another Honda. Put it on here. I mean, it, you got to have the right stuff to make the right money. This was a good deal when I got it. So that's why I bought it. But anyways, guys, that's how to put a 12 volt fuel pump onto a Predator 670. If you haven't already, do me a favor, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and uh, hit the notification bells to turn on the notifications. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. We put out some good stuff, some helpful things, how to do things and some house washing videos. But anyways, guys, be blessed. We appreciate you watching and stay tuned for another video.